less than a minute, you will see the most powerful explosion ever witnessed by human eyes. Yes, I had a dream at the same time, the bright light. I was dreaming that I was in the middle of all the fire, things fall down from, from the sky, and when they hit the ground, that, oh, that was a fire. People from Rongolapet burn all over the neck, legs, and arms, and hair fall off. If it was an accident, they should have taken action right away to evacuate the people from Rongolapet. They didn't. I wonder if they will tell you about. Project 4.1. The study of humans exposed to radiation drawn in 1953 for the planned 1954 Castle nuclear test series. Project 4.1 contemplated the study of exposed human beings. The Marshallese caught by fallout got 175 wrenchings of radiation. These are fishing people, savages by our standards. So a cross-section was brought to Chicago for testing. The first was John, the mayor of Rongelap Atoll. John, as we said, is a savage, but a happy, amenable savage. The Iron Room is a radiation detector for human beings. One dot, one gamma ray. Roll up number 40. That was his guinea pig number. Two of those numbers were assigned to fetuses. <laughs> The United States deeply regrets the hardships the peoples of the four atolls have endured as a result of the testing program, as well as the accidental downwind injuries caused by one test. Bravo. The American representatives to this day are talking about the accident that occurred, meaning Bravo, when all 
documents today indicate that there was no accident. Would it be possible to do an interview with you at some point to talk about U.S. government policy? Probably not. And why is that? Um, well, um, maybe we could turn the camera off and I, we can have a little chat. Why would we pick these idyllic islands? inhabited islands. That, for the life of me, I will never be able to understand. The big building. What is inside? I don't know. <laughs> Justice. Justice? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs>